Hey, what's going on everybody? Femin Show here, back at it once again with another video. Thank you for tuning in. Today it is time for my Nintendo NX wishlist. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. I did it during E3, talking about all the games that I wanted to see there. Didn't quite pan out to be honest, unfortunately, but it was so fun. So here I am doing it once again with Nintendo NX. I really believe that we're going to get the reveal of this console quite soon. I'm thinking mid-September, like 14th, 15th, 16th, around Tokyo Game Show. A lot of other media outlets have been claiming this. Plus, it was around the time that the Wii and the Wii U were properly um, revealed. And plus, if you remember correctly, this is also around the time that Satoru Iwata even mentioned the console in the first place during their partnership meeting with DNA. So I think this thing's happening soon. It's time to talk about some of the games. We don't really know what games are going to make it on the console aside from Breath of the Wild and uh, Dragon Quest, I believe. So let's just jump right in. Obviously, you already know what I'm talking about because you saw the thumbnail and the title of the video. We're talking F-Zero, boys. I want to see a full-on revival of this game, and I don't think that I'm the only one that wants to see it. I, I, it just needs to happen. It needs to happen. And I think that F-Zero is a great way to show off what a console can do. I mean, F-Zero is a very graphically demanding type of game. I believe that F-Zero GX really looked cool in the GameCube. And I think it could really look cool in the NX. I want to see those sleek, beautiful type of graphics. That awesome world. And um, just that fast-paced action. I think it would look really cool. Um, 60 FPS. So hopefully... Hopefully Nintendo's really interested in this title, and hopefully it's really close by um, the actual launch because, again, I think this would be a cool way to show off what the console can do and it'd be a good way to, um, to get people to actually buy the console to show, like, oh, this is a powerful thing. Like, it looks awesome. Let's get this thing. Um, I think that's a really good idea. I don't really want Shigeru Miyamoto touching this game, to be honest. After what he did with uh, Star Fox Zero, it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. It left a bad taste in everybody's mouth. Let's get real now. Those controls are just, ugh, just... Ugh, I can't even imagine. He'd had a, he would have a field day on F-Zero messing around with the controls there. So hopefully he stays away. What I really want to see, actually, sorry, who I really want to see uh, develop an F-Zero title is Shenan Multimedia. These are the guys that handled Fast Racing Neo. It's so crazy that there's a game for Wii U that's, you know, crazy, high octane, you know, futuristic racing, and it's not F-Zero. That is insane to me. Like, I, I can't even believe it. But these guys, they're really good. That was a really good, fast-paced, awesome, future racing game and I think that they would fit right at home with F-Zero it just makes total sense to me um the game did quite well critically I think it did okay financially as well so Nintendo might be in conversation it's it's hard to believe that they wouldn't be like why not give them that F-Zero I really think that um Fast Racing Neo was kind of missing something was missing kind of like an identity and I think that F-Zero is that identity it needs I think that's just the perfect fit for Shin and Multimedia so I'd really love to see them develop that type of game Something else I really want to see in this game is that crazy high-octane story. I want crazy characters, like those weird, just kooky characters that have all these crazy stories, and I want it to kind of pan out the way it did in the classic games. I really, really want to see that kind of arcade feel come back. I think that's just really, really exciting. I know it's kind of, like, outdated in this generation, but it works. I mean, F-Zero is that type of hardcore game that kind of calls for that type of uh, progression and story, too. I love how F-Zero has that type of almost fighting game type of story like it just kind of progresses in that direction and i think that's really cool having those individual characters with individual stories hopefully they continue onward with that trend in f-zero um revival or whatever you want to call this game actually i want the game to be called like something really badass like f-zero revenge or something that would be so cool probably would never happen though <laughs> let's get real now um something else i would really really like to see in this game is uh customizable vehicles i, I we've seen this before and some of the other f-zero games but i want like full-on aesthetics being able to change the color of your vehicles add a spoiler in the back if you want to uh change the windshield add stickers um have some amiibo support obviously where you can get like mario type vehicles that have like you know mushrooms or stars on them um you know have like a zelda type of vehicle i think that'd be really cool as well maybe even have like um, like a Mario DLC pack similar because you know F-Zero was on uh, Mario Kart maybe do vice versa and have like a Mario type of stage in F-Zero that would be Rainbow Road in F-Zero would be fantastic have those loops and stuff that would be out of control fun um, hopefully they do something like that have some fun with it um, but I'd really like to see customizability with um, some of the vehicles and also the characters why not have a customizable character option I think that'd also be really cool it'd be a good way to um, put people in the driver's seat literally so <laughs> that's I think that'd be really cool 
Um, something else I want to see is um, online. I really want online multiplayer in this game. I think that Nintendo really needs to push their games to have online capabilities because it, it, it has that replay, uh, replayability. Sorry. Um, I think that F-Zero already kind of has that, and I think that adding online multiplayer would only increase that value even more. Um, it's just, it's a no-brainer. It really is a racing game. It needs online multiplayer. It, it, it's just a must-have, and I think it would be incredibly fun playing this over, having voice chat on, wrecking people off the track. Like, that just sounds so much fun to me. I mean, that, that's incredible. I, I would really, really like to see that. Um, can this game happen, though? That's the question. How possible is this game? Now, Shinnin is fantastic, and I, I think that there's a reason why they developed that game. I mean, maybe Nintendo's throwing them a bone, maybe they're, like, testing the waters with this developer with this unknown uh, title, and maybe they plan on handing them the game. That's a little hopeful. Again, that's it's probably doubtful, but still, like, that's pretty exciting to even think about. But the problem is, will people even play this game? Are people interested in F-Zero? I, I don't know. It's so hard to tell. I mean, why hasn't Nintendo developed an F-Zero game? Like, why hasn't it happened yet? Maybe because people just don't want to play it. Maybe there isn't that push for it. I mean, there are some people um, playing Smash Brothers that don't even know who Captain Falcon is or where he comes from. And that's crazy. That's a, that's a shame. That's a damn shame. Because he's such a cool character. He is such an awesome character. And, and I don't want to see him only live in Smash. I really don't. I, I just, I don't know. There's so many things, so many factors that play here. I mean, first things first, it's a racing game. Now, racing games kind of have a hard time getting off the ground sometimes. I mean, there, there's some popular racing games out there, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of hard for, you know, a racing game to stay alive and, you know, have people continuously play it for so long, except for, you know, that niche crowd that, you know, sticks on that type of stuff. But Nintendo really needs to grab more than that niche crowd. They really need to grab a broader audience with these types of games now, especially... Um, come the NX when they really need to, you know, heighten up those sales. So, I don't know. I don't know if Nintendo is inclined on developing a type of game like this. I don't know if it would work. Because I don't know if enough people would buy it. Maybe. Maybe if they get a studio like Shinin to develop a smaller type of F-Zero game, charge like 30 bucks or, you know, $29.99 on the eShop, maybe people would buy it. Maybe people would be interested if it was a cheaper type of game. A smaller type of game with, you know... Or, hell, maybe even just like an F-Zero GX HD fully, like, you know, built from the ground up remake type of game. I mean, obviously we're missing some stuff here and there, and the mechanics might not work quite well. Um, but, you know, having that overhaul and making it work, um, maybe just as an eShop exclusive, would be really cool as well. That That's something that's also a possibility. I don't really know. Comment down below. Give me your thoughts. Would you play a brand new F-Zero game? I mean, I, I'm legitimately curious, because... It's hard to tell, because I haven't heard much of a push for this game. I don't know if people actually even want to see an F-Zero game again. I, I don't know. It's so crazy. Comment down, down below and let me know. Hit that like button if you enjoyed anything that I had to talk about. I greatly appreciate it. And also, please be sure to subscribe. I greatly appreciate that even more. Um, also, you can follow me on social media in the description below to get updates on this channel. And... I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully we'll get that NX reveal soon. I plan on doing a bunch of other videos talking about the games I want to see on the NX, so stay tuned for those, subscribe for those, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.